Hey everyone, this is Ken Klippenstein with TYT Investigates. I'm here to talk to you about a new poll which found that a majority of veterans say the post 9-11 wars in Iraq and Afghanistan were not worth it. This is an incredible poll because it says essentially what uh, much of the public thinks um, and doesn't get much play in sort of mainstream outlets, whether it's cable news or talk radio. What the poll found was that two thirds of veterans say that the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan weren't worth fighting. And this was a poll conducted by Pew Research Center. That's not some kind of, you know, activist outlet by any means. It's a very respected um, polling group. And so uh, just to give you guys the facts so that you know where I'm coming from, um, the, the Pew Research Center, the questions that they asked, I'm going to show you it directly so you can decide for yourself what you think. Quote, considering the cost versus the benefits to the United States, the blank was either not worth fighting or worth fighting. So people like to question polls and, you know, um, I, I think that's reasonable, but that seems like a very straightforward question. It doesn't seem like it was skewed to try to produce a certain kind of response. Now, let me break down the numbers for you um, in what the poll found. Among veterans of Iraq, 64% say the war in Iraq was not worth fighting, considering the cost versus the benefits to the U.S. And if you look at the general public, it's almost identical. 62% of Americans overall say that the war wasn't worth fighting. So the general public and veterans are in agreement on this. And this is not something that you hear among the major news outlets, and I wish it was. Um, whenever politicians say support our troops, I'm starting to think they mean support our wars. Because if you talk to the troops, according to this poll, and you know, anecdotally troops that I know, they don't support these conflicts, the two conflicts. So I wonder if it's a patriotic thing to do is to oppose them since that's what the troops do and you want to you want to support the troops, right? <laughs> um, so let me move on to a little bit more about the poll. Veterans who served in either Afghanistan um, or Iraq, they were no more supportive of the engagements than anyone else. So it's not that these are veterans from Vietnam or World War II or whatever that oppose it. Veterans in general appear to um, oppose those two wars. And these folks would have expertise on it. I would think, uh, you know, veterans know a thing or two about the military, about, um, you know, w whether a war is something that's defensible or not. And what's really frustrating about all this is that, uh, particularly Afghanistan, this is the longest war in U.S. history. Obama promised in 2012 that he would um, end it. President Trump promised that he would end it. How many times are we going to be told that this is going to end something that both the, you know, veterans themselves and the general public, as this poll shows, want? And it just doesn't materialize. It doesn't happen. At some point, I think that the public is going to need to step in and assert that they want it because it appears that the politicians have interests other than what people want because people, you know, evidently are very clear on that they want out of these things. Um, and one last thing. There is one way in which public attitudes um, on, on these conflicts skews, and that's whether you're Republican or Democrat. Now, again, vast majority of people, uh, that's two thirds of military opposed the Iraq war. That's an incredible number. That's not just, um, you know, a slim majority. That's a that's a solid majority. Um, but 45% of Republican veterans say that the war in um, Iraq was worth fighting versus 15% of Democrats, 45 versus 15%. That's where the real split is. It's people who identify as Republicans. Um, and, you know, I should stress half the country doesn't vote. A lot of people don't think a whole lot about politics. So this doesn't necessarily mean that 45% of the country or, you know, 45% of half the country or anything like that supports it. But it does show that there is a partisan skew to it. And I should also note that's still a minority. Five, so even a majority, even a minority of Republicans, only a minority of Republicans actually support the um, Iraq war. Um, so just to kind of summarize, it seems like we keep getting promised that they're going to end it. It doesn't, it hasn't happened with the previous administration. It hasn't happened with this one. Um, it, what hasn't happened is um, these views being articulated uh, in a sort of um, direct and assertive manner. I think that there needs to become a sort of um, organized public, um, almost lobby uh, to pull out of these wars because it seems like having most of the country want to do that is not going to lead to that. Because unfortunately, we have a representative democracy, but they don't represent us, at least not on this issue, and at least not according to this poll. Once again, that's Ken Klippenstein. I'm with TYT Investigates.